Now I'm going to show you how you can explore using the brush and get to know your brush a little better, particularly if we're using a Sumi brush. It can do a great many different types of things. So I'm going to do this using the Sumi ink. Normally, I mean traditionally, it's always done on rice paper. But the fact is that you can do it quite well on regular paper, and I want to show you this. And actually, uh, this is some very interesting, nice paper, which is uh, made by Fabriano. It's an ecological paper. It's, they've figured out how to recycle paper so that uh, it comes out pure white. So it's a white paper that's, in fact, really green. So here we go. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to the ink because it just to keep it from getting too gummy and sticky gives a little variety to it. I'm loading up my brush. It's really loaded all the way to the hilt. And then I'm just going to put it on the side and I'm just going to practice a straight transverse stroke right down the page on its side. Now the same brush, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more water so it gets a little more variety to the stroke. The same brush, if you put it this way, you can get a narrow stroke. And you'll notice that as you stroke with it, it forms a very fine point. So while it's still loaded with ink, I can also make a very thin line. Now, just like uh, I was showing you earlier with the crayon, we can do things where we twist the brush to get other variations. So I'm going to start wide. We're also getting a little bit of a dry brush effect coming in there, which is really nice. And as I go down the page, I'm twisting it to try to catch that point. Now that takes a lot of control, and it's a great way to develop control. Now we can start the other way. Start with a fine point. And then by increasing pressure, getting close to the page, pressing firmer until we get to the bottom of the page. And I'm kind of running out of ink there, but try to get that thick line at the bottom. And those incidental gaps in the ink, of course, is what gives the Sumi ink so much character. Now, the brush can do a lot of other things. With the shape of the brush, it can just create different shapes. I can actually shape the brush by hand, open it up, spread it out, and get other kinds of very interesting types of effects. We can go for a very free sort of effect, working down the page. And then, while it's in that interesting condition, get all kinds of interesting brush marks. Sort of rabbit footprints.